Hello guys, in this video we're going to be refitting the front barrel, the cylinder heads and the top end assembly. We're not taking very much off, we're just more or less looking for burgers. Because the oil hole is over That's here. it. That's it, yes. All right. On there. Yeah. I'm going to drop it down. Okay. And it looks like it's just about there. Okay, that's. Except for the bottom one. Okay. You can. These are these are a little handier than your fingernail. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Keep going. Oh, uh, one more. That's good. that's there. They're called Jubilee clips. These, you know, these hose clamps. Yeah. That's what I re remember them called. Screw clamps, we call them. Screw clamps? Yeah. Okay, really. Thank you. Okay, clips are in here, sir. Clips are in. Clips are good here. On the. Yes, yes, on the good jump in, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. That's uh, this, oh, that's the, the uh, mark. The mark yeah, then. That's a mark. Yeah, that's it. All right. <laughs> Congrats. Thank you very much, oh, Dick. No. I really appreciate your help with that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Should we um, crank the the motor over just to see that everything? Yeah, if you want. Uh, you to. can't. You just can't tell, right? That you, you know, if there's a snapped piston ring or anything. We didn't know. You can't we? tell until yeah, you start. Until you get the smoke. <laughs> I felt good. I didn't hear anything or feel anything bad. I didn't hear a bad. snap and it no. uh, went together smooth. There was no binding. Yeah. There's no gouges. No. Coming out. So. Never heard anything scary. Yeah. Just a drop. Not very much. That's a nice action, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Very good. Very good. And it let you go to the top.
Here I'm fitting the bottom push rod. Tube seals, uh, ET104. They're just the standard seals from the Spares Co. through Coventry Spares. And I um, think they'll be fine for now. Uh, if I have some problems later, I can always replace them with something a little bit more sophisticated. But uh, the old ones that came out, I thought they looked good, but they were actually a, just a little hard, a little brittle. And these um, were surprisingly a little tougher to get in than putting the old ones back in. So that tells me that uh, they've got better sealing qualities. I soaked them in water as well, warm water to begin with, and then I gave them a bit of a spray with some uh, silicone lubricant before I inserted them. You know, they're obviously fresher and newer and uh, also more malleable as well. So um, they should be a much better, tighter fit for the push rod tubes. Oh yes, I should mention that the push rod tube washers at the top, actually inside here of the cylinder head, the ET123 washers, that are the same as the as the ones under the flange, the ones over the flange inside here, um, were all in very good condition.
Terrific. Thanks very much for watching, guys. That's the cylinder heads back on now. And uh, as you'll see, you've got some new hardware for these brackets. Here at the front, that's just loosely assembled. And at the rear as well. These rocker caps were second-hand from Coventry Spares, uh, just to replace those breather caps. Um, so that's it for the top end right now. Thanks again for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to receive automatic notifications of uh, videos whenever I post them. But uh, that's it with the top end, and I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.